Rotating your tires is one of the most important things you can do to make sure they wear evenly and last longer. However, how you rotate your tires depends on the type of vehicle you have as well as the type of wheels and tires that are on it. Today I'm going to cover the different rotation patterns and the vehicles that they apply to. So let's get started. This first pattern is a simple pattern where you would only move the front wheels to the back and the back wheels to the front. The only case you'd really want to do this in is if you have directional tires that are all the same size. When I say directional, I mean that the tires are only able to rotate in one direction. This is usually indicated by an arrow on the tire. Next, we have another universal pattern that can be used on all vehicle types, as long as you have non-directional tires in the same size. While this pattern will work, the ones we're about to discuss are more ideal, though they're more vehicle specific as well. Our next pattern applies to front wheel drive vehicles with non-directional tires and all tires being the same size, such as this Volkswagen Jetta picture here. As you can see, the front tires move straight back while the rear wheels cross as they move forward. Next, we have a pattern that applies to rear wheel drive and four wheel drive vehicles, again with the same size non-directional tires and wheels. This pattern is opposite of our previous pattern. In this one, the rear wheels go straight forward and the front wheels cross on their way back. There's also a couple special cases we need to address. Some vehicles, like the S2000 picture, come with different size front and rear wheels. In this case, and also assuming non-directional wheels and tires, you can only move the tires side to side. If the vehicle has different front and rear tire sizes and directional wheels or tires, you can't rotate at all. Now, if your vehicle has a full-size matching spare, you may want to do a five tire rotation. Getting the fifth tire into the rotation takes some of the wear and tear off of the other four. Additionally, some four wheel drive systems are sensitive to tire height. Using the fifth tire ensures that the height of that tire is the same as the other four, so in the event that you have to use the spare, there's no issues with the four wheel drive. This pattern is for a front wheel drive vehicle. For a four-wheel drive such as a Jeep Wrangler or this Grand Cherokee that have a matching spare, the pattern is different. Here are all the patterns we've just covered. Choose the one that suits your vehicle's needs. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.